welcome back guys to the part 2 of tic tac toe tutorial in this tutorial we will be completing our logic part to make sure the game is working fine if you haven't watched the part 1 i would recommend to watch it first the link is in the description so you can go and watch that first all right so let's get started until now we have created this ui and now we need to create the logic so we need to create an array and I would start here with an array named markers and set markers and we will give it a state that is an array oops an array of total null items there are total nine null items all right now now using this array first of all let's make sure we are showing the correct markers at the correct cell so if the marker at any of the index is null we are not going to show it and that is going to be an empty cell else it will have a value of x or o and we will show the images accordingly so just get back to the pressable that we have created and we will add it into a condition into a condition markers since this is the first cell it is going to be the zeroth marker so if marker is triple equal to x then we are going to show cross else we are going to show the zero or say o we add yeah let's save it so see the cell is now empty now this thing we will do for all of the nine cells by changing the indexes one by one so just paste it here give it one for first for the second cell it's one for third cell it's like two three cool let's save it all right since each of them is empty because each of them is null now let's write a condition a function that will be marking the positions of our marker so i will create a function using the arrow function named mark position it will take an argu argument as position that will be the index of from 0 to 8 so let temp we will use the spread operator and get the markers array from the state into a temp object now we will use temp array and at the index of position we will replace it with the active player now the active player is what we will know which player is playing and then we will use it accordingly so since the active player would be let's say x then the position that would be marked with the by the player will be x and vice versa for player row i will set the state 
using set marker and pass in the temp array. Now let's check if the person is X or O and now give the turn to the another player. So I will be checking if active player is let's say X then transfer the chance to another player. So set O as an active player. Else that active player okay i did a mistake here between parentheses all right so let's check this out so i will use this mark position and for the top left cell i will providing in the principal on press function in on press prop i would use an arrow function and give it position of zero let's save it and check if i press c if i again press it it will change the icon now this should not happen so we will check whether the cell has been filled or not so go back to the function and at the top so now we will check whether the cell is null or not if it is null then only we need to execute this operation so i will write if marker array at this position is null I would use a not because a not null is true and then I would place all of the logic inside it so now if I click here see it is not changing okay I think we did measure replay we replace our replay as well so i will bring bring back my replay icon i start cancel icon yeah now it's fine all right so we will continue to assign our on press function to each of the pressable with their individual index for this one it would be one for next it is two and so on until we assign the eighth index cool now we can assign them and if we press on the assigned cells it won't change so that's cool and correctly working and you can see how the turns are getting getting passed on to each of different player first x then o then o then and similarly and so on now let's work on replay so that we can clear the cells if we want to and restart the game create a function reset markers and we need to set the state of the markers back to the initial state so i will copy this array and paste it here all right now copy the function name and let's assign it on press reset markers so if i press on the reset icon boom very well so player x turn now it's turn for player 
O, then clear X, clear O, clear X, clear O, clear X. All right. Now the winning logic. We need to implement the winning logic such that once either a row or a diagonal or a column is completely filled with a single type of icon then the user then that player will win so to implement that logic we will write another function named calculate winner now this function is a very famous function and we will implement the logic as it is always done in different tic-tac-toe games so the function will accept a argument of squares that is an array and in the lines array we will write all the possible scenarios for which there will be a winner so first condition would be cell 0 cell 1 and cell 2 that is the horizontal rows so the, these three rows can be given to a winner p 4 5 6, 7, 8. Similarly, then we can have three columns that can be used to, to decide a winner. So, first column 0, 3, 6, then the second column, third column. now the diagonals so a diagonal from top to bottom and left to right would be 0 4 and 8 and a diagonal from top right to bottom left would be 2 4 6 these are the possible 8 scenarios where we can find a winner so for each move we will check whether any of the conditions is being fulfilled so I will run for loop which will run 8 times and check Let's assign each of them to the ABC variable or each of a line. So now we will check whether the square is not null. Because if it's if it's null, then there is no condition for a winner. So three equal null won't give us a winner then we'll check the is the icon at first cell and the second cell of the line are equal similarly squares the first icon and the last icon should be equal okay So if this condition is fulfilled then we want to return the player so we will return that cells value that will contain a player's name either it's x or it's o and if nothing is written from this then there is no winner we will return null all right so how do we track 
for each move whether a winner is there or not here we will use use effect and bind it to our markers array so use effect or clean the dummy code assign it to markers and make sure to import it in the use effect we will call our calculate function so every time the marker is modifying the function will run const winner is equal to calculate winner and pass in markers markers with the array that we are passing winner will catch the return value now if the winner is x then we can alert player x1 else if the winner is o will alert player o1 else we will get a null and then we will not show anything i'll save it and let's see if this works player 1 player o player x player o player x player o and here we get that player o1 we have implemented it correctly i guess let's try another round i will clear it let's make player x win this time player x player x okay player o here and player x won awesome awesome after after hitting ok we can still play so what we can do is once the winner is chosen we can reset the grid so i will call the reset marker function from here and after alert i'll call it all right let's try again player o's turn player x Player O, Player X, Player O, Player X, and Player X1. Awesome. This looks perfect to me. And everything is working. So that was it, guys. I hope this tutorial helped you a lot to learn React Native and clear, clearing your concepts. And make sure that you hit the like button and if you want similar content make sure to subscribe my channel i will keep posting this kind of videos as well as a beginner friendly tutorials as well so any doubts any queries you can comment down in the comment section all the github links would be mentioned in the description so make sure if you want to get to the code and yeah that's it we will meet in next video. Until then, bye bye.